Hi guys, Liam here from Ask Dad About. Today I caught up with Ray, one of the founders from Crypto Baby Family, um, to talk about their exciting project. Now, as always guys, this is not financial advice, this is just for information and for your entertainment, but let's get jump into that call to see what he had to say. Also, if you hang around to the end of the video, we have a very exciting giveaway for this project. So hi Ray, uh, uh, thank you very much for, uh, for joining me today. Um, just wondering uh, if you'd like to give us a little bit um, information about what your project is and, you know, just some, some information in the background. Yeah, um, we are a team from Singapore and our project is called Crypto Baby Family. The inspiration came from uh, me and my partner. We are both uh, daddies. I have a son which is one year old and my partner have, has a son which is two year old now, I think. So yeah, and we are both uh, very into about cryptos, currency and NFTs. My friend, my partner was the one that brought me into NFT. <laughs> yeah, so we mainly focus on Cardano NFTs. So after going through, going into NFTs, Cardano NFTs, um, we've been through some projects, S managed to flip some NFTs, keep some NFTs also, but we also got into a situation where some projects happen to be a rug pull. Then we, now I have a few NFTs in my wallet that are worth nothing or the team had just disappeared. So going through this, we don't want to be, we don't want this to be happening to the NFT community that uh, like we invest into projects, but then, you know, the team just disappear. We want to come up with a project that is there for the community, provide value for the community. Excellent. So, do you yeah. want to explain a little bit about what a crypto baby family is? Then? Yeah, so crypto baby family, basically, we, uh, the, our first season is crypto baby boys. And we have a season two, season three planned for. Season two is uh, crypto baby girls. And three, we will be going for crypto baby pets. Mm, yeah. So looking at season one, which is the is the boys. Um, yep. What 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 is season one? Like how many how many uh, NFTs is there? Um, you know what what's the what's the background? What's the the uniqueness of them? Uh, so for our first season, initially we planned for ten thousand NFT drop, but looking at the current market and situation. Uh, I don't think 10,000 is suitable. So we decided to bring down the number to 6,666 for the season one. Yeah. But we will do it in two separate drops. Okay. So we don't want to flood the uh, community with too many NFTs because the, the market is now not really... Uh, hype about this I think just not just the NFT market the cryptocurrency market as a whole is kind of a stagnant now everybody's waiting for it to recover so maybe down the road when um, when the when the market sentiment is better we might increase the number of NFTs for season 2 season 3 for the benefit of our NFT wise we are very focused on bringing value to our holders. That's our main priority. So it's not just a JPEG file sitting in your wallet that doesn't give you anything. We have uh, we, we are going to be listed in jbg.store. Uh, it's a platform that enables us to get royalties from the secondary market. So we will be sharing the royalties with our holders on a monthly basis. Yeah, so for our every season, the profit, we will be taking a small percentage of the profit and share with our holders also. We will be, we also be taking a percentage of the profit to donate to orphan, orphanage around the world because our team is babies. 
So of course, orphanage seems like a like a good way to go. Absolutely, absolutely. I think that, that, that that's a great incentive there. Yeah. It was just that low. Then um, the donation wise, we will let our holders to decide which country we start with and which orphanage they would like to recommend. So the whole whole community of holders will vote for, will have the say on which orphanage that we like to donate to, and we will provide the full transparency of that process. Am I right to say that you haven't minted yet and that that mint date is, uh, is upcoming? Uh, the mint is coming on the 7th of January, which is this week, coming Friday, 3 p.m. UTC. Oh, excellent. Yep. And uh, can you give us a little bit more information about that? You know, what is the what, what wallets will be accepted? How how can how can anyone who's interested mint uh, your project and the, the the cost of doing that? So okay, uh, we will be dropping the wallet address on Min Day, uh, on our Discord channels and Twitter channel. So you won't be minting it through our website. Because uh, from our experience, uh, minting through website gives creates a lot of problem. So to keep it simple and not make uh, all the communities waiting because of the back end issues, we will choose the easier way to go with uh, all the address on the Discord and Twitter. So the min price will be 35 ADA. Do you have a whitelist or is it all for public sale? Uh, we have we, we do have a whitelist, so we still have uh ongoing whitelist giveaway in our Discord channels. Then whitelist price and public price will be the same, still thirty five ADA. Just that the uh, whitelist whitelisted members will get to mean one hour earlier before the public sale. So I know we uh, spoke briefly about phase two and phase three. Um, yep. But- for, for phase one, what does that roadmap look like in terms of mintage percentages and stuff? Is there different milestones uh, until fully minted or is it just um, see what happens really? Um, for now, we will see what happens. If the, if the response is not as good as we expected it to be, we will burn the, we will burn the remaining uh, NFT that are not minted for the season one. And do you have a, a burn date in mind or or is it something that you will think about later? We will discuss as a team and see and decide later on. But of course, hopefully we hope we can sell out the whole of season one. I think I think it looks quite cool. I've seen some of the some of the images on on Twitter and uh, in, in your Discord as well, the, the, the images that have come through there, I think they look quite quite cool and something quite unique. Um, do you want to talk a little bit maybe about the, the artist behind it or how the how the NFTs are, are generated and some of, some of the other team members that are involved? Uh, team members, like I mentioned, uh, my I myself is the founder and my partner, he's the technical guy behind the development yeah so he's the one generating the nfts uh, doing the setup of websites all this trades wise uh, we discussed the idea of the trades and the character that we wanted because we see the market is flooded with animals yeah uh, you have you have um, apes and monkeys all this out there so yeah. we, we didn't want to go down this road that everybody is having too many animals in their NFT collections. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. So is there any, any further information that you want to give us? Basically, of course, I would like to let the community know before you invest in any NFT, do your own research. We we are we don't want anyone to get into a situation that you know you invested your time your money and then the project just go missing. Doesn't matter how good the artwork is, uh, how strong the team is, the, the whether the project succeed or not, I believe it's hundred percent due to the community. Yeah, so we 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 should give back to the community and. Let the community holders benefit from holding your NFTs, not just a JPEG file. Yeah, 
<laughs> so, Ray, uh, thank you very much. And just for uh, everyone who has come all this way to the end of the video, um, I believe that you have an exciting giveaway to offer. Yes, uh, we'll be giving away uh, 10 widely spot and one NFT, one crypto baby NFT on Mint Day uh, through your Discord channel or your Twitter channel. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. I will leave a, a link in the description down below to Twitter and we can we can get that, um, that, that, that giveaway set up and I uh, look forward to uh, whoever, whoever won that. And Ray, thank you very much for taking the, the time to, to talk to us today and give us a little bit more information about your, about your project. It really does sound uh, like something that's very, very interesting. Thank you very much for having us.